Hello, these are SolidWorks 2016 tutorials. Now, previously we showed you how to create parts and how to create and modify sketches and how to create relations between entities in the sketch. Now we will show you how to create some referencing planes or axes or points, etc. Now let's first create a new part. Click OK. And as we talked about it earlier, we have our origin, we have three planes, and we have this coordinate system. Now, what if we want to create another plane, let's say parallel to this one, and draw on it? You see on this features ribbon, you have this reference ge geometry comment and you just click it and there you can see that you can create plane axis coordinate system or a point now i believe you can find it here as well so let's just see where it is reference yeah, okay you go insert reference geometry and there you can see all of these now to add a plane you just simply click on plane and then you need to add references now what our reference first reference we want to have is to be parallel to front front plane now we can't see it and we can't see our tree so we simply expand this and then we can see all of the things from our tree and we just click on front plane now we can make it either perpendicular parallel or I don't know coincidence and etc now it's fully defined as you can see because it's one inch away from from plane now if we set its parallel then it's not fully defined because we need to have another reference for this distance so or we can use we can create it with different angles let's ju just say it's 125 degrees okay still we need second reference and so we'll just put it this way and create it now if we want to let's say create an axis we go to reference geometry axis and we have several ways ways of doing that so we can create an axis on a line or edge we don't have anything here and we don't have any sketches or anything so we can't use that one but we can use this between two planes now let's select plane one and let's say we select top plane now we have our axis there we just simply click ok and there you go now also we can use two points or vertices we can use cylindrical face or point and face or plane now if we want to let's say create a new coordinate system okay we, we will just simply create a small sketch here let's no let's just make it like this i don't know something like that let's just specify this angle here to let's say 30 degrees okay and specify this angle here let's say 75 degrees okay now now we have our sketch and if we want to create coordinate system as you can see we need to specify first our origin so let's use this point and now specify our x axis let's use this line and our y axis let's use this and this is automatically added so now that's the way we create our coordinate system and we can delete all of these in our tree we simply go here press right click and click on the on the delete button also if we want to create let's say a point we simply click on that and we can use different options to create a point so we can create it in the center of an arc 
on the center of a face, on intersection, etc. Let's just click on this line and let's just specify this point. Now, now we can let's say add another axis and use this point and face. So click on point and then click on face and now we have that axis as well. Anyway we can play with these and choose different options to create different different referent geome reference geometry and basically we can use this in our modeling and it's pretty useful actually. So that was it now let's just close our file we won't save it and see you in the next tutorial.